This isn't a Pokemon battle. It's a movie. But what's good? Shofu in this bitch like conception. Now, by popular demand, I am bringing you this extremely long ass battle that you guys really wanted to see apparently because I got like 99% yes votes and there was like a few people that didn't want to see it. But it is a good battle, I'm not even going to lie. So, um, I just want to give you guys a little background to the situation at hand. Uh, I just want to give you a background to how the argument started that we had. It all started with this comment right here. He said, the Pokemon community is becoming so pathetic. Now, not saying that I don't agree with him. First of all, there, I don't think there is a Pokemon community. There's niggas that play Pokemon. And there's niggas that watch niggas play Pokemon. But um, like I'm saying, he said the Pokemon community is becoming so pathetic. And the thing is, like, it wasn't even a Pokemon battle. It was a video of me going to Hayden's house and just hanging out. <laughs> so, like, I don't know how he got that the Pokemon community is getting pathetic off of me chilling at McDonald's and uh, scaring old men. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Scaring old men. Fuck, where'd he go? No. Anyways, okay. So, you know, we're chilling at McDonald's. Eating some chicken nuggets, them nuggets, bitch! And uh, there's a police car outside. They probably came for me because I'm black. And uh, we're chilling. We're shooting a video, hopping fences, skateboarding. I don't understand how he got this from that video. Because this is the video he posted the comment on. And so I made a comment. I was like, and how did you get that from this video? So then he, uh, he goes on to say that he knew that prior to watching this video. He's seen both Hayden and my videos, and we're both... He basically... Okay, I'm just going to sum it up. He called us both stupid, and uh, he said we have faggot personalities, which, I, okay, that's opinions, okay, that's that's fine, that's fine. Then he goes and says you're both also shit at the game. Now, I know you guys know that Hayden is not the greatest battler, obviously. He doesn't really play competitively, but he's, he's a, you know, he's an entertainer. He's an entertainer. Now, me, on the other hand, I've been on Smog on for years. I know what I'm doing. I, pl I, 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 I win a lot of battles, so, like, I might be bad, but, like, who is he to say that? That's what I'm trying to say. So, um, then he goes on to say, Elo is some anti-OU scrub who was bitter because you can't beat a Sandstorm team. I LOL'd. Dangerous36M is an, another example of an overconfident, idiotic, awful player. And all of PMP is filled with trash like you. That was crazy. So, you know, I don't, I'm not one to, you know, if somebody makes fun of me, I don't make fun of them back. I'm not that kind of guy. Normally, normally, it's, there's exceptions, of course. It's still uncalled for. So then I go on to say, well, I would love to battle you if, if you truly believe that. Because I have full confidence that I can beat most people. Blah, 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 blah. So he's making all these excuses to why he doesn't want to battle or some shit, I don't know. And then I go, sounds like a bunch of horseshit to me. And then, um, where's his butt buddy? His butt buddy comes out somewhere. Oh, here we go. So then this guy, this is the guy I actually battled. His name is Max Protect. He comes out of nowhere, and uh, he basically says that he completely agrees with what the other guy said about Pokemon Pit. And, um, yeah. So then they become friends, like, automatically and start uh, sucking some dick. And then, uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And then my next comment Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Here, this is what happened. They're talking a bunch of shit, and then I'm like, that's funny. I see all this shit being talked, but I don't see any friend codes. Strange. So then this guy says, um, when most players get hacks, they, uh, enjoy it when they get it, but they don't enjoy it when they, when they get it on themselves. Obviously. Duh. It's a competitive game. If I get hacks, I'm gonna enjoy that shit. If you hacks me, I'm gonna be upset. That's just how it works. Um, so then they start talking more shit, more shit, and, um... Uh, he was talking about my PO ranking. Now, my PO ranking on Smogon, I don't ladder on my name. And he was looking at the ranking on my name. I have laddered on my name before, but since a bunch of people always challenge me while I'm on PO, I uh, changed my name to something else. So he was looking at my name instead of the name that I used on uh, that I use on PO. So, um, you know, he was thinking that I was bad just because my PO ranking was bad. So after all this shit is done being talked, he goes, Shofu, don't even try to deny that you don't have an overinflated ego about your skill level at this game. You're entertaining, but you are nowhere near good at this game. There are countless well-respected players, not on YouTube, who agree. I know my opinion doesn't mean much because I'm some random and my subscriber count is low. If I type in a confrontational connotation, you'll just think I'm some kid who only wants to battle you. Wish there was some way for you to realize that you're bad. 
Yet I got my prerequisites on this uh, small gun and I uh, was ranked 28 like a week ago. But you know, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. He has his opinions. I'm not bashing him. But you don't come on my video talking mad shit unless you want to back it up. So I was like, like I said to the other guy, drop an FC and then you can judge. And uh, he sure did drop his friend code right here. He dropped that friend code. So, uh, yeah, shit got real. Now, if you will take a look at the team preview, you can clearly see that we are both using some sort of stall. I'm using more of a toxic stall, and he's using a uh, kind of a shuffle stall. Um, I say shuffle stall because he has two Pokemon with Roar. He has his uh, Heatran and his Latias. They both have Roar. He has his uh, Ferrothorn, obviously, which is going to be setting up the uh, spikes. His Heatran probably has Stealth Rocks. His Gliscor is just the standard, uh, you know, stalling Gliscor. He has a Jellicent, which uh, breaks stall with its Taunt and Will-O-Wisp. And then he has an Unaware Quagsire to stop a uh, Pokemon that like to set up. Now, my team, I have my Ferrothorn for the Spikes. I have my Politoed just for uh, Rain. Uh, you know, Rain can uh, give my team a lot of advantages, such as uh, removing the Fire Weaknesses from my Steel types and uh, letting my Jirachi hit all of its Thunders with, uh, without worrying about missing. And um, I have my Tentacruel for the Toxic Spikes, as well as Rapid Spin. My Bronzong is my main Stealth Rocker. Obviously, it's my only Stealth Rocker. And it's my main counter to other Gliscors. My Gliscor uh, is, uh, you know, once the opponent's Pokemon are poisoned, I can, uh, you know, protect and substitute as needed to stall out the Pokemon. And my Jirachi is just mainly support with uh, Thunder for Paralysis. So, um, as you can see, this is a stall versus stall, which is why the fucking battle so long. Now, right off the bat, I actually messed up and sent out my Feral Thorn first. I meant to send out my Tentacruel so I could get up the Toxic Spikes as quickly as possible. So, um, I fucked up there. Toxic Spikes was actually my first priority, so I don't even know what happened. I really meant to send out my Tentacruel, but I ended up sending out my Feral Thorn. So, I'm, I'm just going to keep going for the uh, Spikes as he goes for his Spikes. Now, I go for Leech while his Feral Thorn is still in because I know he's possibly going to switch out to his Heatran. Now, he does switch out to his Heatran, and I get up my uh, Leech Seed on him. So, that's going to help out in uh, stalling out the Heatran uh, later on. So, I'm going to send out my Politoed here. I possibly could have sent out my Tentacruel now, but I didn't want to risk it because uh, just in case he predicted it and went for the Earth Power. I didn't want to, uh, cause I, I would have had to come in on three layers of spikes anyways, so it was too risky. So I'd rather send him my Politoed, knowing that he doesn't have a weather Pokemon on his team, so I don't really have to worry about, um, you know, losing my rain. So now that I know he's gonna switch out, I'm just gonna go straight for the Scald. But uh, he sent out his uh, Barungaru, Barungaru. Anyways, um, Jellicent. He sent those a Jellicent, and I go for the Scald, and it does hit, but he has the cursed body, so that's not good at all because. Um, you guys are going to see later while it's not good. I'd rather him have Water Absorb, but he does have the Cursed Body. So I'm going to switch out, and now I'm going to go to my Tentacruel. Toxic bitch! And um, he's actually going to go for the uh, Taunt, I believe. And, um, you know, that renders my Tentacruel pretty useless because I only sent it out to get up the uh, Toxic Spikes. So it looks like I'm going to have to switch in on a turn that he either attacks or uh, recovers or Will-O-Wisps. So um, now I know he's going to go for the Will-O-Wisps, so I'm actually going to switch out and go out to my uh, Ferrothorn because um, I'm not really going to be attacking with this thing much. I don't really have, you know, I, I, I could save it for his Quagsire, but I don't really need to. At, at this moment, all I want to do is get up as many hazards as possible so that um, later on in the battle, my Gliscor can do what it does best and uh, stall out his Pokemon. So he's going to go for the uh, Taunt right now. I know that, so I'm going to go for the Power Whip, predicting that. And uh, despite me being burned, it does quite a bit because I get a critical hit. Swag! So um, now I know he's going to be forced to uh, recover. So now I'm going to send out my uh, Tentacruel. And I'm going to be able to... Wait, do I send out my Tentacruel or my Politoed? I forgot. This was a long time ago. I believe I sent out my Tentacruel though. Yeah. So now I'm going to take this opportunity to get up a layer of Toxic Spikes. And, um, you know, because I know I outspeed the uh, Jellicent. So I'm going to be able to get up at least one layer before he gets off the Taunt. So he does go for the recover, gets his HP back. I'm going to get some Rain Dish and some Leftovers. Oh, Black Sludge, sorry. So, um, yeah, Rain Dish and Black Sludge together restores 12% every turn, so that's good. So I'm going to be able to get up a layer of Toxic Spikes. My first priority because he does have two bulky water types that won't appreciate being poisoned. So he does go for the Taunt, but uh, I have him trapped, so he either has to switch out or burn me. So uh, I'm going to, because I, I am going to go for the Rapid Spin now. So if he switches out, he's going to lose all of his hazards. So um, I can pretty much just Rapid Spin until he, uh, 
No, I can rapid spin until my taunt wears off and then I can get up my second layer of toxic spikes. So until then, I'm just going to keep rapid spinning just in case he does want to switch out. So um, he doesn't switch out and he's going to go for the will just to burn me, get some residual damage every turn. But because I have the rain dish, it's actually going to uh, not do very much at all. So um, my taunt should be wearing off soon. I'm not really sure when it happens, but it does happen soon. Is it now? Nope. So I'm going to go for the rapid spin again. He's going to go for the skull, just trying to get damage. And uh, like I said, well, Taunt only uh, lasts three turns anyways in 5th gen. Uh, so I'm going to be able to get up another layer of Toxic Spikes next turn, which will allow me to uh, stall out his Quagsire and his uh, Jellicent next time they come in. So uh, there's my second layer of Toxic Spikes. He's going to go for the Scald. Now I'm going to switch out and save my uh, Tentacruel as Death Fodder because I know that once I switch back in to the Stealth Rocks and the uh, three layers of um, Spikes, I am going to die, so I might as well save my tentacle for later since I won't be able to get up a rapid spin. So I'm going to switch out to my swag, and I'm going to go for the Parasong, so I force his Jellison to switch out to something. So um, he does go for the Scald, and I believe he gets the Burn. No, he doesn't get the Burn. I think he goes for Willowis next turn. So um, I'm going to go for the Parasong just so I can force his Jellison to switch the fuck out because it's pissing me off a little bit. So he does go for the Willowis, burns my uh, Politoed. Not really a problem because, uh, like I said, Politoed is only on his team to get up the weather. And uh, on Baton Pass teams, if they don't carry Mr. Mime, I use it to, um, you know, force the uh, chain to break up. So I'm going to go out to my um, my uh, Feral Thorn as a death fodder, really, because it can't do anything with all these spikes and hazards up. So um, I'm going to pretty much have to sacrifice my Politoed, my Tentacruel, and my Feral Thorn all at once. But uh, I'm trying to make this battle work out. I, I'm just trying to get up all my preparations so that I can uh, be in the uh, zone to stall. So now I'm going to send out my um, bronze line because I know he has to switch out. Otherwise, uh, Jellison will die. So this is a perfect opportunity to get up my um, stealth rocks. And he sends out his feral thorn. Fine with me because I'm just going to send out my um, polytoad, I believe. I think I sent out my polytoad to die right now. Pretty sure. So um, yeah, I'm going to send out my polytoad just to die. And uh, right now the score is 4-6 and he's up 4-6. No, he's up 6-4. Wow. Anyways, yeah, you know what I meant. So um, he's going to go for the Leech Seed and uh, I'm obviously going to die this turn because I can't live after Leech Seed damage and burn damage. So um, yeah, the score is 6-4. My opponent, Max Protect, is up 6-4. And um, now I'm going to... What am I going to do? I think I go out to my Gliscor here. Attack! And knowing that he can't do anything to me, he's actually going to switch out and go to his Jellicent. And um, I actually went up for the Substitute, knowing that his Ferrothorn would not be able to break my Substitutes unless he had um, some attack EVs. So luckily for me, he does bring in his Jellicent because now I'm going to be able to stall this thing out. And um, I'm going to go straight for the Earthquake instead of the Protect because um, Toxic Damage plus Earthquake Damage racks up extremely fast. And I know he's not going to be able to stay in for long if I uh, start attacking him. Even though he does have recover, the damage racks up too quickly for him to uh, even risk it. So he's going to break my sub here. And uh, my sub breaks, obviously, because uh, rain boosted Scald. Even if it wasn't rain boosted, it would still break. So now he's going to switch out as I go for another substitute. Uh, I went for another substitute just so I can try and stall him out some more. But he actually switches into his own Gliscor. And, uh, you know, I go for the substitute just so I can, you know, I don't know. It's a stall team what stall teams do <laughs> i'm just kidding i went for the substitute just because it's the safest move to go for and uh he does bring in his own gliscor so um i'm gonna go for the protect just to see if he has ice fang or not uh i was expecting him to go for a substitute of his own actually but uh i also wanted to get some hp back from all the substitutes that i've been making so right now i'm gonna switch out even though i'm behind the sub i'm gonna switch right out to my bronze song knowing that i can uh probably get off a an hp ice but he goes for the ice fang gets a crit and a freeze what are the fucking chances I was already in the hole to begin with, so the fact that he froze one of the biggest parts of my team was just very upsetting. So he's going to go out to his Heatran. I got to switch out because I don't know what the fuck he's going to do. And I go out to my Gliscor. Good switch on my part because now he's going to be forced to switch out. And, um, you know, he doesn't want to lose his Heatran too early. But even though I knew this, I went for the Protect anyways, just, be, just in case, just in case, just in case he had the HP Ice. Because I've seen a lot of Heatrans with that shit. And I was fucking scared. So I went for the Protect. And he apparently does not have HP Ice because he switches out to his Gliscor. So I'm going to switch back out to my uh, Bronzong. Just knowing that even though I'm still frozen, I can wall that thing. So I don't have to take hits from it when I don't want to. So um, yeah, I'm going to stay in and uh, try to thaw out right now. 
and I'm gonna go for the HP Ice, but he brings in his Ferrothorn and I do not thaw out. So um, I'm actually gonna switch out and go to my uh, Tentacruel right now as Death Fodder. So things are not looking good at all right now because he is about to be up 6-3 and I have a Frozen Bronze on, it's just all bad. So um, yeah, it's at this point that um, the score is 6-3 and I need to uh, analyze the situation right now. So at this moment during the battle, he has three layers of spikes and Stealth Rocks up on my side of the field. And on his side of the field, I have two layers of spikes, two layers of toxic spikes, and Stealth Rocks up on his side of the field. Now looking at my remaining team and his team that he has, I know that I'm going to 100% have to keep my Bronzong alive in order to beat his Gliscor because I do have the HP Ice on my Bronzong and that's the only thing I have that can two hit KO his Gliscor. So if I lose my Bronzong, I lose the battle. Also, I need my Bronzong in order to poison his Latias. Now, I know I have the Jirachi on my team. Jirachi is the most expendable Pokemon on my team. And uh, Jirachi does wall the Latias, and I do have the Thunder, so I can paralyze it and get the uh, Para Flinch combo with the Iron Head going on. But the fact that he probably won't stay in on my uh, Jirachi is going to make that very hard to pull off on his Latias. So I'd rather poison it and then Toxic Stall with my Gliscor. Now, Gliscor, on the other hand, I absolutely must keep Gliscor because that is going to be the main key to taking out his Ferrothorn, his Heatran, and both of his water types. Without Gliscor and Bronzong together, I could not win this battle at all. So those two Pokemon must stay alive and they must survive to the end. Now Jirachi, like I said, is the most expendable. If I need something to die, I'm going to send out my Jirachi so that I can uh, switch in one of these guys safely. Now um, all this is going to be very hard to pull off, so I have to stay focused. I have to be on my A game. I 100% have to pay it. Oh my, you don't even know. When, when this happened during the battle, I turned off everything. My computer was off. My I had no music playing. It was completely silent in my room. And I was just focused, super focused. So um, like I said, I'm going to have to play extremely well. I'm going to have to predict every single move he does. And I'm also going to have to find some way to thaw out my goddamn bronze on. Let's fucking go. Now, as you can clearly see, my Tentacruel is dead. So, like I said earlier, it's 6-3. The score is 6-3. So, I'm going to send out my Gliscor. I'm going to go for the Substitute, knowing that he cannot break my uh, Substitute with one attack. So, uh, yeah, that's going to put me at an advantage. He's going to go for the Power Whoop, and he's going to get a critical hit, which is going to break my sub. So, I just wasted some HP there. That's not cool at all. It's not cool, Ferrothorn. Don't fucking do that. I'm black. Shouldn't be whipping me. Ha! <laughs> Just kidding. So uh, I'm going to go for the substitute again. Uh, he switches out, goes to his Gliscor. And uh, I'm going to go for the substitute, like I just said. And I'm going to protect just to get some HP back before I switch out. And uh, yeah, cool. So um, he's going to attack me, but it uh, doesn't matter because I went for the protect. So now I'm at 222. And I'm going to uh, go for the Ice Fang now. And uh, he outspeeds me. Probably wants a speed tie, actually. He might outspeed me, though, because I know Gliscors do run speed EVs. Mine doesn't. So, um, yeah, I do go for the Ice Fang, get off a heavy hit, but uh, the Poison Hill is going to bring him quite up to par, so it's not going to really do much. Now, I'm going to go for the Protect before I switch out one more time, just so I can be at a uh, good amount of HP before I switch out. So now I'm going to be at 310 before I switch out, which is awesome. And then I'm going to go out to my uh, Bronzong. And I only went out to my Bronzong as bait for him to bring in his Ferrothorn, because um, my Bronzong is clearly frozen, so he can bring in his Ferrothorn safely and get off Elite Seed on something. So I thought that's what he was going to do, but uh, it turns out that he actually switches out to his uh, Latias as I bring back in my Gliscor predicting his Ferrothorn to come in. So that was a bad play on my part because, um, I don't know, I predicted wrong. And I have to predict everything he does correctly. Now this isn't really a problem because I do have my Jirachi and I can switch out to him and uh, bring him in and uh, wall this Latias. And at this point I didn't know that his Latias had Roar. So I thought I was in a good uh, position to uh, get off a Thunder and paralyze him. But um, I'm actually going to go for the Wish first because since I switched in on all this entry hazard nonsense, I'm going to have to get up a Wish so I can, um, I don't know, function better and uh, make my survivability go up. So I do go for the Wish and this is where I find out that he has Roar. He roars me out to my Bron uh, Bronzong. Now I'm going to go for the Toxic right now, hoping that I thaw out. And if I thaw out, this will be... The greatest miracle since Jesus turned water into wine. But looks like I was, uh, I don't know, 
I was uh, that was wishful thinking, wishful thinking, because he roars me out, roars me out to my Gliscor, and I'm gonna go back out to my Bronzong, and I need to thaw. I fucking need to thaw, otherwise, he can uh, walk all over me with this Latias. So um, he's gonna go for the Dragon Pulse. Does a decent amount because he does have plus one. Now I'm gonna go for the Toxic right now as he goes for the Calm Mind. You greedy fucking bastard. That's what you fucking get because I thaw out and I get off the Toxic. Perfect. That is all I needed. All I needed. Now, I have the setup for victory right now. At this point, if I predict correctly, I can win this battle easily. Easily. So I do go out to my Jirachi now because um, I know Jirachi can take any hit from this thing. Now I'm going to go for the wish. Just kidding. He thinks I'm going to go for the wish. But I'm actually going to predict his roar and go straight for the Iron Head. So watch the epic, just watch the swag right now. Watch the swag right now. I go for the Iron Head predicting his roar. Now since roar has minus priority, um, he's actually not going to go first. He's going to go second. So if I go for the Iron Head and get the flinch, he uh, the poison damage will be racking up very quickly. Very quickly. So now that I know he's going to switch out because um, if he goes for roar, he's not going to be able to um, attack if I get the flinch. I'm going to go for the wish now in order to get my HP back up. So like I said, I'm predicting very well right now. I have to, otherwise I will lose the battle. So um, looks like Jirachi will be a great asset to uh, my team right now. So I'm gonna go for the Protect just to get my um, Wish HP back. So um, obviously I can't stay in because I can't really touch his Gliscor. So I am gonna switch out the Bronzong right now. And uh, what you gonna do? Nothing, can't do anything. <laughs> he goes for the Swords Dance, ha! Nobody cares about your stupid Swords Dance, okay? So, um, he's actually gonna stay in and take a hit right now. I don't know why. I don't think he knew that I had HP Ice. I guess he had to find out the hard way. He ends up getting another HP, uh, another, uh, Ice Fang crit. And, uh, it doesn't do anything. And, uh, my HP Ice is going to be able to easily two-hit KO his Gliscor. So I know he's not gonna want to stay in, obviously, otherwise his, uh, Gliscor will die. So he's going to switch out to his Feral Thorn. I'm actually going to switch out to my um, Gliscor right now. Or do I switch it to my Jirachi? Yes, I switch into my Gliscor. Attack! So I'm predicting him like I have to. Otherwise, I will lose. I'm going to keep emphasizing that because it's very important. So um, I'm going to go out to my Gliscor. I'm going to go for the Substitute. Knowing that he cannot break my Substitutes in one hit. Unless he gets a critical hit, of course. And I am going to proceed to go for the Earthquake until he dies. And um, just kidding, I go for the Ice Fang because I know that if I, I don't know, I, I thought he might want to switch into his Gliscor. And I didn't want him to uh, stall out my Earthquakes with his, uh, well at this point in the battle, he I didn't know that he had Protect. But uh, he does have Protect, he does have Protect. So uh, I'm going to go for the Earthquake now as he goes for the Power Whip, it's not going to break my sub, okay it is going to break my sub, what the fuck? That's weird, he must have got max damage on that one. Anyways, I'm going to go for the Substitute again. Now, um, he's going to go for the uh, Elite Seed, and obviously the Substitute blocks the Elite Seed. So, um, I don't know. This is just going to be a bunch of a bunch of stall right now. Because he, he's going to go for the Protect. I'm going to go for the Earthquake, and uh, I can't afford to waste too many of these Earthquakes because I need them for his other Pokemon, as well as this Feral Thorn. So, um, what I'm going to do now is go for the Ice Fang because I don't want to uh, risk him stalling out all my Earthquakes. Also, um, if I get a Freeze, that will be very welcome. If he switches out to his Gliscor, that will also be very welcome. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep going for Ice Fangs and switching it up with Earthquake. Just trying to get as much damage as possible, maybe freeze him. Hax is always welcome in my book. <laughs> that's just how it goes. Hax makes the battle easier, and you want to win, so it's welcome. That's, that's how I see it. Mayweather versus Ortiz. Mayweather took advantage of the situation and knocked that motherfucker out. That's what I'm trying to do. So if I get Hax... I will not complain. I'll be very happy. But anyways, um, he's going to go for the power web. It's not going to break my sub. I'm going to go for the uh, earthquake right now. I don't even remember. <laughs> this is all types. Of, this was all types of months ago. So I do go for the earthquake. I have 14. No, I have 13 more earthquakes. And, um, you know, th those protects might be troublesome. So I'm just going to keep going for ice fang from now on. In case he wants to switch or, uh, you know, I, I might get a flinch or a freeze. Always welcome. I'm going to keep emphasizing that as well. <laughs> Anyways, he does break my sub with another Power Whip. Um, I think he switches out now. Yeah, he switches out to his uh, Latias. Now, I'm going to go for the Substitute. And um, it's it's just all down to prediction right now. It's, it's all down to how well I can predict. Now, the way I predict most of the time is um, I imagine the opponent as me. And I think about what I would do in his shoes. 
So because I'm thinking that, I would go for Recover. I'm going to go for the Ice Fang. And uh, knowing that he's at that low health, I'm predicting that he's going to go for the Recover again. Because that's what I would do. I would go for Recover again right now. And um, I would, uh, you know, I'd have to go for recover because I didn't want, I wouldn't want to die from the Ice Fang plus poison damage. So because of that, I'm gonna go for the Ice Fang again. Now, since I have gone for Ice Fang twice in a row, if that was me on that side of the field, I would go for the Roar right now. But because I know that, I'm gonna go for the Protect, and yeah, I'm just predicting the fucking dog shit out of him because I have to. So, um, like I said, the way I predict is I imagine the opponent as me, and I imagine what I would do in my opponent's situation. So, because I know now that he either has to go for the Recover or the Roar, either way, I'll be able to get off my Ice Fang, and his Latias will die this turn. So, he roars me out to my uh, Jirachi. It doesn't really matter because he's dead. Yes! Yes! The power! The power of prediction. Fuck yes. So he brings out his Heatran, um, his Heatran's taking damage from the Stealth Rocks and the uh, Spikes. He's going to go for the Protect, I'm going to go for the Thunder, just trying to uh, kill it actually, because uh, I can kill with the Thunder from that range, definitely. Now after the Leftovers, I don't know if that's the case, but uh, I know that I could before. So he's going to bring in his Feral Thorn, which is actually good for me, because if I paralyze it, uh, that will just make stalling it out that much easier with Gliscor, because uh, some turns he's not going to be able to attack because of the Paralysis. So I do paralyze his uh, Feral Thorn, so that's good. Now I'm going to switch out to my... Um, what I should have done was stay in and use Wish, and then switched out to my Gliscor. But I switched directly to my Gliscor, um, banking on the fact that he might get Parahax. But he does get off his Leech Seed, and uh, that's going to be bad because he's going to be gaining way too much HP at a fast rate. So I'm going to have to switch back out to my uh, Jirachi, maybe go for the Wish, and then bring it. Try, I'm trying to bring in my Gliscor safely without um, him being Leech Seeded or anything like that. That's that's the only thing I'm trying to do right now. And I can't afford to switch in and out like this because my uh, Jirachi will die from all the uh, entry hazards. So he brings in his uh, Heatran, and his Heatran is going to die from all the entry hazards. <laughs> right on cue, right on cue. So I think the score is 3-3 at this point. Uh, I know his Latias is dead. His uh, Heatran is dead. I don't know what else is dead. It might be 4-3. Anyways, he brings in his Quagsire. I'm going to go for the Protect as he goes for the Waterfall. Now, um, knowing that he is poisoned, my uh, Gliscor is going to be able to wall him. Not not wall him, sorry. My Gliscor is going to be able to stall him. And um, it should be all fine and dandy if I can bring in my Gliscor uh, safely. So he's going to go for the Waterfall. It does quite a bit considering that is a Quagsire and Quagsire fucking sucks. But um, I don't know. It didn't do too much, so it's not really a problem. Now I'm going to go for the Protect, just in case he wants to go for the Waterfall again. But he goes for the Curse. Not good at all, because I wasn't expecting that. And uh, it might be problematic, but since he is poisoned, my Gliscor can uh, stall him out regardless of what he does, because I outspeed, so it doesn't even matter that he has Curse. So I'm going to get my HP back from the Wish. Uh, now I'm going to go for the Iron Head, I believe, just trying to uh, rack up the Toxic Damage, knowing that I am faster and I might get the Flinch. But I don't get the flinch. He goes for the recover. Uh, the toxic damage is racking up very quickly, which is why I fucking love toxic. Because no Pokemon can set up on you. They can only stay in for about four or five turns before the toxic damage starts to get way too high. So I'm going to go for the uh, iron head and I get a crit and flinch. So I don't know if that makes up for the crit freeze that he got earlier. Doubt it. But fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I'm going to go for the iron head now. But I don't get the flinch and he's going to get off a recover. So that's not good, but like I said, the toxic damage is starting to rack up very quickly as you can see, and um, he's going to have to switch out, otherwise he will die. So um, he's going to switch out, and he's going to go out to his Feral Thorn as I go for the Iron Head, and uh, I'm actually going to end up doing more harm to myself than I do to him, but um, obviously because Feral Thorn is a super hard body, and he has the Iron Barbs all over his body, so um, I don't know, nothing I can do about that really. So um, I'm going to switch out, go to my Gliscor, trying to bring him in safely. Hopefully he gets the Parahax. But like I said, I fuck up again and he gets off the Leech Seed on me. So I'm going to have to switch out because he's going to be gaining way too much HP, way too fast. And um, I don't know. The leftovers plus the Leech Seed is going to be replenishing his HP. Delicious, nutritious HP. HP. So um, I got to switch out, go back up to my Jirachi. And uh, I just want him to fucking get paralyzed when I bring in my Gliscor so I can use the Substitute. 
and uh, hopefully take out his feral thorn so now of all times he gets paralyzed i really didn't care about about him getting paralyzed this time i really need him to get paralyzed when i bring in my gliscor but whatever i'm gonna go for the wish he goes for the leech seed um i think i switch out to my gliscor now knowing that he went for leech seed now i don't expect him to go for it again he might go for it again though if he's good if he's i don't know if he's predicting right but um yeah i am gonna go back out to my gliscor right now hopefully he gets paralyzed or um or um, misses his leech seed, but he hits the leech seed. Uh, I am gonna get some HP back from the wish, but look at his HP now. He was at about 40% when he uh, switched in, and now he's almost at 100%. He's about at uh, 97%. No, 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 that's like 99%. He's about at 99% after the um, after the. Uh, I'm getting so out of this narration. Oh my gosh, he's at about 99% after the uh, leech seed damage. So now he's going to go for the Power Whip, and um, my uh, Jirachi is almost dead, so I'm going to have to go for the Wish, because I need to preserve my Jirachi, and um, his Power Whip is not going to take me out, so that's good. He's going to leave me at about 10 HP, oh my gosh, that's close. So um, he knows that I'm going to be forced to go for Protect, otherwise I might uh, risk losing my uh, Jirachi, so he's going to switch out to his Gliscor, good move on his part. Uh, so he did predict me to go for the Protect. But as you can see, I have been playing pretty well despite me having the uh, disadvantage uh, uh, Pokemon-wise. He had 6 and I had 3, and I have been playing pretty well. So um, now I'm going to switch out. I'm going to go out to my Gliscor. I mean, uh, my, my Bronzong. I'm going to go out to my Bronzong, which does indeed wall this uh, fucking bat. And uh, I'm going to go for the HP Ice. Just kidding. I'm going to switch out to my Gliscor because I know that he's going to switch out to his Feral Thorn. So now I finally brought in my Gliscor safely. And I'm going to be able to um, get up a substitute and hopefully stall out his uh, Feral Thorn. And I'm going to be able to kill that motherfucker. <laughs> so I go for the substitute. And uh, he goes for the Power Whip. It's not going to break my sub. So I'm going to go for the Earthquake right now. Just trying to, um, you know, rack up as much damage as possible. So he does get paralyzed. This is going to help me. This is why I was glad that um, he brought in his Feral Thorn on my Thunder. So he goes for the Protect, but he does get paralyzed. I'm gonna be able to get off an earthquake. He goes for the protect now. I go for the earthquake. I'm gonna go for another earthquake. <laughs> or, yeah, I go for another earthquake. And look, look at the damage. The damage is racking up. Um, he breaks my sub now. I'm gonna go for the substitute again, obviously. And uh, he goes for I don't know what he goes for because he gets paralyzed, bitch. And I'm gonna he's gonna go for the protect. I'm gonna go for the ice fang just in case he wants to switch out or try to stall me out. And uh, now I'm going to go for the Earthquake. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate between um, Ice Fang and Earthquake. Just in case he wants to keep trying to um, go for the Protect and stall me out like a little bitch. So um, yeah, he goes for the Protect now. I go for the Earthquake. It's fine though because he's at very low HP. He goes for the Protect. It fails. I'm going to go for the Earthquake. And um, I believe... Okay, he gets off this Protect and I go for the Earthquake. And I believe I get a critical hit on this Earthquake here as he fails to Protect. And that is a dead Feral Thorn. So I think the score is 3-3 or 2-3 me. I'm, I might be up right now. I think it's 3-3 though. He brings in his uh, Barungaru. His Barang. Barangaru. And um, I go for the Earthquake and I kill the Barangaru. Fucking Jellison. His name is Jellison. I kill the Jellison. And um, he gets the Cursed Body Hacks. Not only that, but then I missed the Ice Fang on his Quagsire. Which, <laughs> this is so stupid. That made the battle that much longer. I think this is his last Pokemon, though. I think the score is 3-1 me. I'm not... No, 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 no. He has his Gliscor. The score is 2-3 me. I'm up 3-2 swag. And, um... I could have killed his Quagsire earlier, but I fucking missed the Ice Fang. So, I don't know. It's like it's like this game wanted to set me up for failure. I, I, I got the Cursed Body hacked with the Earthquake, and then I miss the fucking Ice Fang. That's crazy. So um, he's going to get up a curse as I go for the protect, just trying to stall him out with the toxic damage. And um, now that my uh, earthquake is uh, not disabled anymore, I can use it if I want. But I'm just going to keep going for Ice Fang, trying to make him flinch or either, I don't know, either way, I'm, like, I can stall him out as long as I want, it doesn't matter. He's going to go for the waterfall, break my sub. Um, he can only stay in for so long, so I'm not really worried at all. Look at look how much damage that toxic damage just did. It, it's ridiculous. It's He can't, he can't, he can't stay in. Like the more the longer he stays in, like it, it, the toxic damage is close to doing as much as recovery restores. So I'm not even worried. I'm gonna go for the ice fang here. He's gonna recover. Blah blah blah. He's gonna die soon. 
I think I, why am, why am I not using earthquake right now? I guess it doesn't matter. Ice Fang, uh, he's recovering. Toxic is about to kill him. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go for the Ice Fang right now. I think I get the flinch. Yeah, so because I got the flinch, he's gonna die from the uh, toxic damage. And his last Pokemon is Bronzong. I mean, no, his last Pokemon is Gliscor. Oh my gosh. I'm never narrating a battle this long again, ever. So his last Pokemon is Gliscor. Um, he's gonna break my sub. I'm gonna go for the Ice Fang and uh, it's gonna do a decent amount. And then I'm gonna switch in my Bronzong and I'm gonna use HP, Ice, and kill his fucking ass. So that was a sick ass battle. It was extremely long, but I, I, I really enjoyed myself during this battle. The only reason I tried so hard in this battle is because once you talk shit, you can't lose. Like if I talk shit and lose, I'm gonna look extremely retarded. So like, that's just like one of the worst feelings in the world. Like the, the worst feelings in the world are a full bladder, that feeling you get right before you have to take a shit and your stomach hurts. Three would have to be um, the feeling of not the feeling that you don't belong somewhere, that people don't want you. And then the fourth feeling, the fourth the fourth worst feeling in the world is looking stupid after you talk mad shit. So I was trying to avoid that at all costs. So I was just trying to play as well as possible. Now the funny thing is, after the battle was done, he PM'd me saying that he didn't really mean any of the shit he said. He was just trying to troll me into a battle so he could upload a win against me on Pokemon's Pit Beta. What type of shit is that? <laughs> Ain't that a bitch. Anyways, that's how you turn a 6-3 advantage into a 3-0 destruction. Yes. Holla at me, bitch. <laughs> also, if you watch this entire video, Kudos to you. If you watch this entire video, leave a comment. As a matter of fact, if you watch this entire video, just send me a PM. Send me a PM if you watch this entire video. And I'll put you on like a wall of swag or something. Yeah, yeah, do that. <laughs> okay, see you guys.